good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new WWE Elite action figure review on the brand new WWE Elite Series 79 Collector's Edition. I think it's Walmart exclusive 30 years Undertaker Elite figure, and it looks great. I'm actually really, really excited for this Undertaker. I think it may be one of the best Undertaker Elites that we've ever gotten. We'll have to see about that. You know, we'll have to, we'll have to get into it. Who in the hell is sending me a damn message? By the way, this isn't a tattoo. This is just a little ink print from where I went to this little festival and they did a little ink print there and, and that's not a tattoo. If I get a hand tat, it's going to be much sicker than this. It's like a buffalo. I don't know what the hell's going on. Anyways, guys, getting into the figure, I do want to give a huge shout out to my man, Balor Figs UK, for hooking me up with this figure. You know, the UK actually got this figure first for once and they got it at Smith's, I do believe, and he was able to grab one for me. So a huge shout out to my man, Balor Figs UK. He is a beast. Check out his pick fed. One of my favorite fetters, one of my favorite feds to follow and he, he is a beast. So definitely go check him out. Link in the description description below, but Undertaker looks great in our front viewing window. You have this special collector's edition packaging with the black and purple colors going on. You got Undertaker down here. You guys can see the sick-ass logo in the 30 behind the Undertaker's body. On the side, you get a mean-ass image of the Undertaker, an elite logo down here. On the other side, you have another image of the Undertaker from this match, I do believe. Down here, you have a sick Taker logo with the number 30, and on the back, it is a really sick shot. So you got the dead man, the American badass, and then we're back to the dead man and if you guys want to read this little bio read you can go ahead and pause it right now so you got the 1990 to 2020 3-0 taker figure if you guys are mock collectors this is going to be one of those figures that you want to keep mock because it has you know special edition packaging it looks great it feels great at the top it does say wwe collector's edition with the true effects logo mattel logos and all of that ish i want to say i can't remember what match is this supposed to be extreme rules i can't remember the exact match this is supposed to be from i want to say it's extreme rules i could be wrong Let's read the back here. I want to say it's Extreme Rules. When he teamed up with Roman Reigns, I think. Or it may have been Super Showdown. It could possibly be the Super Showdown attire. But let's shut the hell up and crack the dead man out of this packaging. So here is the Undertaker out of the packaging, guys. Looking pretty swell. You know, I haven't taken the coat off just yet. I do want to wait until, you know, I take it off. I didn't want to take that off and then have to put it back on and check out the figure because these coats, you guys know, are pretty trash with posability and getting them on and off can be very, very difficult. But here's the Undertaker in the flesh and we are going to crack him out of this coating and we're going to take a look at his accessories and then we will take a closer look at the Undertaker and do some comparisons. So let's dive into Elite Series 79 Undertaker's accessories. So getting into Undertaker, Undertaker's accessories, guys, I mean, it, it wouldn't be an Undertaker Elite without his entrance coat, and on this entrance coat, you're not going to be able to pose him around very much at all, right? I mean, these things are super stiff, you know, his arms are going to go out by the wayside. I will say the details on this coat are immaculate, like all of these little details stitched in here, not stitched in here, it's not cloth, Brad, that's obvious. It's got the nice plastic going on, it's got all these details in it, it looks really good and stuff. I think you could take this a step further if you dry brush some silver on this, I think it would probably throw it over the top, may not be accurate, but but it would probably make the figure look a lot better or the, the coat look a lot better, but it's just your soft rubber material. I'm not going to use this. If I do, I'll slice the sleeves off and use it as an entrance coat that way, but I'm definitely not going to be using it, uh, you know, in the fed or anything like that. It's just, you know, these rubber coats are really hard to pose around with and they make the figures like statues, so I will not be using this, but next up, guys, is his hat. Now, the Undertaker wouldn't be shit without his hat, and right here, we do have his hat, and the only complaint I have is it doesn't really go on the figure that well. You guys can see it kind of sits up on his head which really isn't the biggest deal like you know it, it, it fits the figure like if you're just gonna sit it on there but it will not hug the head sculpt so it's basically literally just sitting on there like you see this I, sh I shove it down and it pops right back up it will not stay on the figure whatsoever so that is kind of disappointing I am gonna try other hats when we do the comparison shot of the video to see if that's just you know this hat if maybe other Undertaker hats will go on there I've tried different ways of putting on the hat and it still won't stay on so I, I don't know it's just it's super loose I think it's because of the hair piece on top, but you do get that. You also get a nice elbow pad, and out of the packaging, he does have choke slamming hands, and he does have his signature mic holding hands, because everybody's cutting promos in this hoe. You got the mic holding Undertaker hands with the gloves, and then you do have the choke slamming hands, because you gotta have the choke slamming hands. I would like to see a thumbs up hand for him to do the throat cut for rest in peace, or maybe an Undertaker hand like this for him to do his signature pose when he's down on one knee. That would be pretty damn cool as well. And fist for when he, you know, he has a, he has a 
boxing style in the ring. So Fist could work as work too. Load up the Undertaker hands, man. We need the Undertaker hands. If you want him to have Fist, you could put Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar fists on there if you wanted to and just remove the Lesnar part possibly. But that's besides the point, guys. Let's get into the Undertaker figure himself. All right, guys, so getting into the dead man himself, this head sculpt is nice. I like this head sculpt a lot. It's kind of got that like old Undertaker look going on. I like the hairstyle he's got going on. I can't remember, again, if this is Super Showdown or Extreme Rules. I cannot remember the attire. I remember him wearing this. I just can't remember where it was. I want to say it was one of those two events. Could be wrong, you know, but here is the Undertaker head sculpt. I like it a lot. I think that you could even take it a step further. If you wanted to remove this hair piece and sculpt a bald head sculpt or do his mohawk looks, you could do a bunch of different Undertaker moments with this head sculpt, but I like the hair. I like the haircut. I like the likeness to Undertaker. It's really nice. I will say my shoulder over here is a little bit loose. It's not horrific, but it is a little bit loose over here. Not near as tight as the other shoulder. Going down into the torso, I'm pretty sure this is a new torso because we've never seen this kind of shirt mold, which is accurate to the time he wore it. I do remember him wearing this specific shirt, but it does look like it's a regular Undertaker torso, except they redid the sculpt for the shirt. And he looks beefy. I like this torso for the Undertaker. I think it looks great. Now all we need is a torso like this, except the singlet is pulled down where you can see his, you know, his BSR tattoo. And then you could have like this cloth singlet hanging off or something. I've seen a lot of customs like that and it looks great. All his tattoo details, you do get the wristbands or the wristbands for the gloves. Going down to the pants, I love the pants that they chose. These are like the WrestleMania 32 Elite pants that we've seen. Belt on there, nice sculpted pants. He is on ball joints. You got some nice stitching down the sides. Signature taker boots and that is pretty much your figure. You know, not, not an over the top, just immaculate piece like as far as details are concerned, but as far as accuracy and, and the look of the figure, I love this. I think it's really great. I'm enjoying the hell out of this Undertaker. I am having a little bit of black paint chip on the torso, but I, I don't really mind it that much. It looks okay. Not something I couldn't touch up, but that does it for the Undertaker figure, guys. Let's get into some Elite figure comparisons. All right, guys, so for your Undertaker Elite figure comparisons, I'm not sure why the damn exposure is so John Brown bad. I'm going to put my hand right here. Maybe it'll fix it a little bit. It fixed it a little bit, but you guys can see the Elite 79 in the middle. We have the WrestleMania 35 Elite. We have the Ghostbusters Elite. We have the WrestleMania 30 Elite, and then we have my favorite Undertaker Elite fix-up figure all time. This is my favorite Taker they've ever done, but all this is really is an Elite WrestleMania 32 Taker with the basic 74 head sculpt. I can never remember. It's either basic 71 or 74. Best Undertaker head sculpt all time. They pretty much made that into an Elite with the WrestleMania 35 Elite, but I don't like the True Effects version. I like this version better, which is kind of nuts, but you guys can kind of see as we walk through here, all great Undertaker figures. This one stands alone great. I really like this head sculpt. I think it is one of the better Undertaker head sculpts, and it might be the best one. It's damn close, if not. I just love this, the mid-2000s Undertaker, WrestleMania 20 era Undertaker, man, that is that is my shit. That is my piece right there. But I did want to try other hats on this guy. I can't remember what hat this is, but maybe this hat will go on here. Okay, I think this is... Okay, no, it's still not going on. Christ on a bike. This hat... Okay, the WrestleMania 30 hat goes on perfectly. You guys can see that right there. That, you know, you, you could remove the red, I guess, if you wanted to acetone that off. I don't know if you want to do that, but that is a plausible explanation for it. And then you do have the WrestleMania 32 hat, and yeah, so the hat that comes with the figure doesn't work, but the WrestleMania 32 Elite Undertaker hat that comes, you know, you guys, you guys know it's like the short haircut, and it comes with the trench coat as well. That hat fits the figure perfectly, so if you guys wanted to see that, that is the piece you want to go with. Also, the best of pay-per-view build a figure Undertaker. Also, that hat will work as well. But I think that is going to finally do it for our Elite 79 Collector's Edition Undertaker 30 Years Action Figure Review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'd really like to know what your thoughts are on this Undertaker down in the comment section below. Do you guys believe this is the best Taker we've ever gotten, or do you believe it is up there? What are your thoughts on the overall figure? I would highly recommend it. I don't know if it's hitting the States yet. I think it is going to be Walmart exclusive when it does hit the States. But until then, I think you may be able to find it on eBay unless you have a hookup in the UK. So definitely try and find this figure. I think it's damn good. I like it. You can easily just interchange the coat if you don't like the rubber coat. The hat is easily interchangeable. And I, I love this Taker. I think it's a damn good Taker figure. I think you will enjoy it, especially if you're an Undertaker fan. But that is going to do it for the video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I don't know if Ringside Collectibles is going to get this figure. If they do get this figure, you definitely want to use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS. But thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. My name is Toys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.